Hello, welcome back to the Scale Modeling Cafe and welcome to another sprue tour. And yes, it's here. Clear props, 172nd scale MiG-23. As you can see, I've got all three, which is really very, very cool. Um, now, a little bit of a disclosure. Clear prop um, got in contact a little while ago and asked whether uh, I'd like to have some review kits for the YouTube channel. Obviously I said yes. Unfortunately, the parcel never arrived, which is a massive shame. So I've gone out and I've bought some clear prop kits. I've bought their H75N in 48 scale. I've bought their Key 51 Sonia in 144 and 172 scale. And I've also bought two of these. They very kindly put the third one in the box for me. I've also bought the resin extras and photo etch for this. Right, so that's the kind of disclosure bit out the way. Whenever um, I do get the odd review sample every now and again, I, I really am very, very fair. It's, it's a real cliche that certain, uh, a certain section of modelers out there think that reviewers suck up to companies, don't ever give bad reviews or any criticism because they want to keep the freebies coming. That has never, ever been the case. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know whether it's just jealousy or, or whatever. There's never any evidence behind it. But um, it's, like I say, it's become a bit of a modelling cliche. Rather like when a model kit, a, a company announce a new kit and we get the, oh no, not one of those, we've got loads of those, why can't we have a blah? Um, you know, it really does get really very, very dull. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there at the beginning. Right, these kits have been three years in the making. They have been delayed because of obviously what's going on uh, in Ukraine at the moment. And the fact they've managed to um, get them out is uh, astonishing. So kudos to Clearprop. I am a big fan of the brand. I've so far built the Key, uh, Key 51. I haven't yet. I built the i16. That was my first Clearprop kit that I built and it was just stunning. The beautiful detail just blew me away and it went together very well. I've got lots of other kits of theirs to build and they're all coming to the channel very soon, as are these. As you can see, I've got all three, as I mentioned, and you can see. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna build all three all at the same time. What I'm gonna do is, I am gonna build one. It's gonna be effectively from the box, but with some of the extras that I will show you in this video, all from Clearprop, so I'm gonna do that. I also want to do a derelict one at some stage and I want to do one with all the Edward photo etch and resin that's going to come out as well. So I am going to build all three, but I'm just going to build one at the beginning, at the start, and then going forward we'll, uh, we'll do some of the others. Anyway, I was about to say let's pop over to the bench and see what we get. I'll just explain what you get in the box first actually on the standard one. So, here we've got CP72030, that's an expert set. CP72031, that's an expert set. And CP70, get this right, 32, which is an advanced set. You get more in the advanced than you do in the expert, or is it the other way around? My mind has gone completely blank. I think, I'm pretty sure with the expert set, you get the weapon sprues, which are available separately. And you don't get that in the advanced. I'm pretty sure it's that way around. Um, yeah, in fact, I am sure it's that way around. Right, there we go. Sorry for that senior moment. Um, there we are. So without further ado, let's just nip over to the bench and we'll have a look at what's in the box. Okay, so here we are at the bench. Here is the first box. Um, I'm not going to open all of them. I'll just open this one um, because the contents are broadly similar. So uh, 
This is 72031, there is uh, 72032 and 72030. So 30 is the expert set, 31 is the expert set. So you get the extra sprue of the weapons in there. And uh, 032 is the advanced set, so no weapons with that one. So it is slightly cheaper, but you can buy that separately if you wish. As with most of clear props, um, and actually Ukrainian manufacturers as it seems, um, this outer lid is exactly that, it's just the lid. Put that to one side and you get this very stout, whoops, <laughs> they've all just fallen over. Um, you get this very stout box. In that box, you get two bags of gray sprues. You get the decal sheet for all the options and then all the stencils in a separate sheet and a photo etch sheet with some really nice small details on there. Uh, instructions with a separate uh, stencil guide. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, oh, you also get this sort of advert for the company, which is quite cool. Now, these are the extras that uh, that I bought. As you can see, most of them are clear props. So you get this really nice ejection seat. I'm not gonna get these out, but a really nice 3D printed ejection seat with a photo etched tarnish. So that's cool. Uh, this is the jewel in the crown, really. This is your um, exhaust and it's uh, droopy as per the real thing. So that's really cool. So I've got those two for this as well. I also went out and I bought the uh, canopy mask set, which I think is pretty essential these days. Um, I couldn't be without them, certainly. And I bought the, uh, it's uh, actually for a flogger K, the MLD, but uh, the pito bit would work uh, on its own. So I bought that, obviously uh, not clear prop. And that's the contents of the box. So what we'll do is let's just have a quick look at the instructions first. So I'll just put that to one side. Uh, we'll, right, this is the first time with my new camera, so bear with. I'll just zoom us in. Uh, okay, uh, we'll deal with those separately. Absolutely uh, lovely printing, uh, very clear on the instructions. Uh, ammo paint only though, which is a shame, but it uh, it does describe what they are. But I'm sure you could do your research there. A couple of unused parts pointing to other versions that are coming along the way. As you can see, here's that weapon sprue, which is extra in this. Uh, obviously in the photo etch parts down there. And here's all the decal sheets laid out. These are the extra ones for the weapons down here. This is quite cool. It tells you all the different variations of assembly. So obviously you can have it swept. Uh, this is a proper spot the difference uh, competition here. So swept and spread. Canopy open and closed, obviously, but quite subtle. Air brakes out, air brakes in. Uh, weapons on, weapons off. So lots of different variations there. That'll take a bit of study. Construction starts with the cockpit. It's photo etch instrument panel or just decals, seat going together, uh, nicely detailed seat by the look of it, multi-part, obviously I've got the resin uh, resin one, but I will be doing one straight from the box. Some really nice uh, additions using the photo etch on the stick and rudder. And then on the, uh, on the side walls, really clear instructions, it's telling you here to cut the decal out and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Separate sidewalls by the look of it, or um, not sidewalls, but uh, sort of the cockpit sides, which is cool. Very comprehensive cockpit there. Telling you to add nose weight. Um, now, I've got a feeling I've run out of um, my reefing lead that I used. So uh, I need to get some more of that. I do have some liquid gravity that I'm probably gonna have to try and get in there somehow. Next up, the intakes. So it looks like the hold of the nose just grafts onto the rear fuselage. Uh, what's that? Looks like the nose wheel bay going down. And then we've got this sort of um, multi-part rear fuselage. So this is the lower part. 
by the look of it. Building up the main gear legs. The uh, three part, which is unusual uh, exhaust uh, tube, I suppose you call it, jet pipe. That's what I was looking for. Obviously separate burner there, that's uh, photo etch. And here's where you'd replace it with the resin. And then talk about modular. So here's that lower, um, that one piece lower part, which is actually the lower part of the nose as, as well. So I'd probably, looking at this construction, I would probably glue the nose part onto the forward part first. Don't forget to paint these bits here. And I just work my way backwards. So I glue the main gear bay, uh, then the jet pipe in, and then bring the two sides in. That's probably how I do that. And then the top part going on. So you're gonna to have to be quite careful in how you build this to make sure that you don't have any misalignment. Next up are the wings uh, going on, but look at that. Don't forget to do some drilling. I always do that. And the wings, it's telling you there how they slot in which is cool. So it doesn't look like there's any gear mechanism or anything like that. So it'd be interesting to see how they work. They probably work independently. And then you trap those with these wing gloves, these separate parts that go on trapping those wings in. Uh, different versions, but look at this, A and B. Back to A, so it's gonna take some real study on this. Oops, jumping forward a bit too far forward here. So here's the equivalent parts, trapping the wings on the top. That's for version B. Intakes, um, what's all this about here? Tail planes going on. It's telling you to open up the slots there on the fin for the rudder and a different fin top. So lots of uh, variations on the mold. And then this will be quite a cool um, time is to put the tail planes and the fin on and then it really will start looking like a MIG then. Some more sort of wing glove job um, going on here. And now the undercarriage with this sort of trailing arm undercarriage and getting that all symmetrical and getting the right sit is going to be absolutely crucial. Multi-part wheels, although I do think there are some resin wheels as well that you could have. More undercarriage stuff going on, nose wheel stuff going on. Various scoops and things. Here's the um, the unique sort of folding ventral strake going down. You might want to leave that off until after painting. And then lots of little lumps and bumps. Lots of canopy detail as well. Lots of photo etch going on there. And looks like a one piece uh, canopy if you want it closed or the two piece if you're going to have it open. And all this is gonna take quite a lot of time, all these little lumps and bumps, lots of photo etch. This is quite cool, correct position and nose antenna and the open canopy and the gun, just showing you all the correct angles, which I think is a really nice touch. And now we're onto the weapons and pylons. So the fuel tank's going on, I think that's quite a nice option there, and that'll make it all look busy. Open or closed air brakes, top and bottom obviously, and then now we're into the weapons. So all the different missiles, uh, Alamos, archers, as we used to call them, that kind of thing. And here's your weapon loadout. So I'd probably go here first, choose my weapon loadout, and then just go back and uh, make up what I needed. And then we're into the paint schemes. So Soviet one here from 1987 down at the bottom, your traditional uh, sort of four um, uh, color camouflage. Again, uh, similar on the top, but the Syrian one, I actually quite fancy doing that one um, because it probably got a little bit more beaten up. Here's that Israeli one, the captured one, which is uh, really quite cool. And then going into the Libyan one, and I quite fancy that one as well. You could probably quite easily cut these out, the green circles, and uh, and paint those markings. So I may well do that if I choose that option. And then a very comprehensive painting and stenciling uh, guide for all your weapons and pylons. So really, really comprehensive. And there's the other kits. Coming soon 
Frogfoot, really looking forward to that. There we go, so that is the instructions. Put that to one side. Right, here we go, stenciling. As you can see, that is very comprehensive. Um, right, I'm wondering if these are the same, actually. MLAE, MLAE2 stencils. Oh, no, this is MLA, MLD, MLAE P stencils. So they are different. Again, this all just screams amazing research. There we go, and there's your side view. So that's going to take a while in itself. It's just getting all those stencils done. <laughs> Mayday. Okay, before we have a look at the plastic, let's just have a quick look in the bag of goodies. Right, here we go. This is going to be interesting. Let's try the zoom feature. Where is it? There we are. So I'm not going to take these out. Is the camera going to focus on that? Yes, it is. Brilliant. There we are. I'll just uh, move that around, glint it around so you can get a good view of that. That looks really, really nice. Here's the, uh, the instrument panels at the top, seat harness. This is the afterburner stuff, canopy details, and all those little aerials and lumps and bumps. That's really comprehensive. And here's lots of little aerials and things. I'm wondering if, um, as for the missiles, R60. So that's gonna be really refined. So that's really cool. Pop that back in the bag. And all the stencils, look at that four sheets of stencils, and they are tiny. So that is not going to be fun whatsoever. You don't have to put them on, of course, it's up to you. Here's the main deco sheet then. Not too glossy, really thin. Uh, there's the deco graph label there. What's really nice is the canopy seals is deckled. That's really cool. Like that a lot. Instrument panel there. Dials, not overly done, not thick white bezels or anything ridiculous like that. That looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, that's really cool. Big fan of that. Right, let's put that in the box or in the bag rather. And then we'll have a look at the plastic. Okay, in bag number one, you can see this is all sealed. I've not opened it yet. Sticker over the top. Let's have a look at this. There we go. And straight away, you can see the molding quality on that dark gray plastic. That is brilliant. If I can bring that in really fine there's rivet detail along the panel lines here very crisp they don't fade out at all these panel lines that's really really well done brilliant obviously the drop tank uh, action going on there this one the outside uh, of the intakes and weapon pylons that looks like the folded ventral fin there that detail on the fin top is absolutely incredible i can see if the camera's gonna see how close i can go in my new camera i'm even above the lights now um let's see if i can zoom in a bit more oh, is that too much that's too much come on focus there we go that detail is draw, uh, jaw dropping, really? Lean back out. Yep, yeah, that's really nice. One piece main wings. Beautifully riveted, as you can see. Same for the tail planes, two part fin. But again, beautiful rivets. 
and I'm hoping as I just move it around in the light like that you can see that detail again I wonder if we can get um, a real close up on these wings the detail the mount's wobbling a bit there we go look at that that is amazing and one piece as well wow brilliant right zoom out again ready for the next one okay some detail parts on this one uh, that's the uh, turbine that's the first stage compressor a little bit of a errant bit of um, plastic string get rid of that the exhaust nozzle here uh, really nicely detailed on the outside but the inside is uh, oh there is some very fine engraving there I thought it was smooth but really very fine bring you in there's that turbine detail that mold is incredible that's really deep detail here don't know if that's a where are we gear bay or something maybe possibly if I can try and get that you can see that detail on the inside of the exhaust nozzle there. Lovely. That is phenomenal. Again, this kit, oh, wrong way. This kit is blowing me away. I ought to try and get a remote control on that, hadn't I? Okay, here's the top of the fuselage and, and the fuselage halves. raised and recessed detail this sort of raised bits here very crisp some beautiful riveting going on there's the uh, main undercarriage bay also you could add more wiring in there if you wanted to but it's not going to be that visible to be honest and the fuselage halves gives you a bit of an idea of the size of this thing i'm just wondering if it might have been easier to have a separate nose on there don't know it looks to me like there's a little molding ridge along the edge along the top there which actually i'm going to qu quite like that sort of thing because it just helps you to eliminate the seam turn it over and there is some molded in detail again a bit of zoom edge there we go you can see that molded in detail on the fuselage halves and the molded in detail there on the jet pipe it's going to take a paint and wash really nice so that's the first bag and in the other bag clear sprue we'll leave that to the end i think okay here's the main fuselage parts on the side and again that detail is amazing really beautifully flying rivets here at the front that's brilliant riveting around some of these panels at the back very deep air brake bays nice bit of detail on the pylons there and obviously drop tanks so that's really nice uh, this looks like the other generic sprue here and straight away again I'm just going to zoom you in I'm gonna, is that focus going to work yeah it is so here we have the uh, splitter plate for the intake and that is just amazing that detail there if I can get it so you can see that there we go that riveting that is just stunning how do they do that that's incredible and then on the other side again riveting on the other side look at that brilliant some cockpit parts in here i can see parts of the seat down here these are a little bit clunky the uh the leg guides where are we here the leg guides for the ejection seat 
But uh, I think if you're spending 40 odd quid on this, you may as well get a resin seat, get the clear prop one. It's amazing. There we go. So uh, that's uh, that's that one. Uh, weapon sprue. So there's two of these, and this is uh, this is all your missiles here, and a pylon. No idea what this thing is. I'm not really read up on my Soviet era missiles. Um, other I know Alamo and Archer. Multi part. Obviously, the detail on this is brilliant. Pylons are lovely. The moulding is just amazing all over. Okay, uh, and this obviously is generic sprue. So the wheels are on here. Let's uh, have a look at the wheels. They've got the moulded sidewall detail. And that's really nice. Some of the riveting there. That is recessed. I had to check. That is so fine. I'm going to say, goodness gracious me now, because that seems appropriate. Lovely. Right, last one. Let's have a look in here, if I can open it. There we go. Obviously, we saw in the instructions, open and closed canopy. You can see how shiny that is. There is no mould seam down the middle, but it wouldn't matter anyway, because obviously there is the strut there. Um, so you may wish to uh, paint these separately and use this as a mask if you want the open canopy, or as an option. Or the other way around is uh, add these bits and paint this separately if you can have it closed. But it would be such a shame to have it closed with that detail. But that's brilliant, look at that. There we are. That is the contents. I think you'll agree, really comprehensive and beautifully, beautifully detailed. Just getting the instructions here. There we are. Right. So, um, yeah, that's kind of blown me away, really. That's the first time I've had a proper, really close look at the bits and pieces. And, uh, yeah, just amazing. I, I need to go and buy a thesaurus um, so I can uh, use some uh, other words because that is uh, that is fantastic. Right, let's go back over to the chair and uh, have a chat. Okay, there we are. That is the Clearprop 72nd scale MiG-23. What an amazing kit. Absolutely brilliant. The detail is fantastic. Now, these are expensive, uh, but if you shop around, you will be able to find um, them on discount. But if you want quality, you've got to be prepared to pay for it. And I think it's well worth the retail price this. I think it's a beautiful model. And I'm really looking forward to getting started on it. There we are. All right. So there, there we are. There we go. There we are. The waffle, waffle, waffle. Really sorry about that. But um, yeah, I'll leave it there. And uh, we'll look forward to the build video of this in due course. So cheers. Bye bye.